Hello guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to yet another informative video on the Promise Breno channel. So today we're going to talk about fully funded scholarships in Turkey for bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD. Now, as a graduate from a Turkish university, there are two popular scholarships I know in Turkey. One of them is fully funded and the other one is partially funded. The one that is fully funded is mainly open okay, or suited for those who are still in their country right now. For example, if you're still in Africa, Asia, Middle East, or wherever, you know, um, you, are, you have a higher chance, okay, of applying to the first one, which is the fully funded, okay? It is mostly suited for you. If you're in Turkey uh, right now and you're watching me and you've done, you've spent uh, at least minimum of two semesters or you're about to spend minimum of two semesters, then you're eligible to apply to the second one. I have benefited from one of the scholarships, which is the second one, okay? Now, um, what makes this uh, scholarship unique is that, um, um, I mean, what makes this scholarship unique is that it's not only inclusive of financial support, okay? It covers your tuition, accommodation, and health insurance, okay? It also provides university placement and academic or social cultural facilities to eat our days. Okay, at all levels of higher education, whether you're coming for a um, bachelor's degree or master's or PhD, you know, you can benefit from these things. Okay, and the application started on, the, on January um, 10th, so the application is on right now. Okay, and it's going to end in, it's going to end on 20th of February 2023. So be sure to apply fast if you want to stand the chance okay, for your document to be evaluated. And if you want to stand a chance to apply for this scholarship, start applying. Um, in fact, after watching this video, start applying, okay? Now, Turkey is a great place. Um, I won't lie to you. Like, um, I studied in Turkey. I spent about five years in Turkey. And um, I would advise you to study in Turkey. Like, if you want to move to Turkey for study purpose, yes, I would advise you to go there. Because um, while I was there, it was cheap for me. Uh, to be quite honest, um, life was easier for me there. And, you know, compared to European countries, you know, um, I think Turkey is cheaper. Okay. Um, so uh, I would advise you, I would encourage you to apply for this scholarship. Now, applications for the fully funded uh, Turkish scholarships are uh, sponsored by the reputable uh, government of Turkey in partnership with prestigious Turkish universities are currently open for the coming session. Okay, which is the 2023 through 2024 academic session. Before I continue, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button. Um, this channel is loaded with lots of videos, and I keep dropping videos every week, every week. Okay, in fact, today I dropped a video. So, um, guys, subscribe because um, the, the 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 vision of this channel is to help you to take action. You know, to help you to know the right location for you to travel to, okay, through watching my informative videos and also helping you to take action to apply to the opportunities in those places, like whether you want to come abroad to work or to study. So ensure you subscribe and hit the notification not, notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. Having traveled to like about seven countries in the world outside my home country and lived in like three of them, even though I'm still living in the third one, um, I believe that I have the necessary experience to, you know, uh, advise you and to help you on your immigration journey. Okay, so guys, uh, if you're um, if you're looking forward to uh, watching this video to the end, and if you um, if you're enjoying this content, please smash the like button. All right. Okay. Now uh, you can apply for this scholarship without IELTS. You don't need IELTS. Uh, based on my experience, I applied for it without IELTS. Okay, if you're already speaking English or you graduated from an English speaking um, university or program or you came from an English speaking country like Nigeria, Ghana, Gambia, or even if you're not from these countries and you're from another country but you studied in English, I think you can apply without IELTS or TOEFL. Okay, all right, so no wonder studying in Turkey under a government funded scholarship is more, it's not more than a dream come true, you know. Um, it's a dream come true, actually, um, or more than a dream come true, come true for so many. If you can study and, you know, your insurance is taken care of, your tuition is taken care of, your flight is taken care of, you know, and you still get most monthly stipend, 
on top of that. You know, how good is that? Moreover, um, selected candidates will get dozens of um, valuable benefits to cover their academics and financial expenditure throughout their um, educational journey in Turkey. Now, the, the, these are the available courses for Turkish government scholarship. So basically, if you are applying for this scholarship, which I'm going to show you how to start your application, I'm going to take you to the page where you can do that. And I'm going to put the page in the description. So you don't need to go and be searching for it. You just need to just click it and it take you to that place. Now, you must choose any of these programs listed here in order to be eligible for this scholarship. So the first one is biotechnology and we have biomedical engineering, we have medicine, we have computer engineering, we have biochemistry, physics, engineering, food um, engineering, math, biology, agricultural economics, horticulture, soil science, plant nutrition, geological engineering, okay? So the duration of the Turkish government scholarship programs uh, varies with a chosen degree. For instance, for bachelor's degree, which is four years, okay, with one year for Turkish language preparation. Then we have for master's degree, which is a two years course with one year Turkish language course. Then we have a um, PhD degree, which is a four years course and okay, which includes one year of free, I mean, four years plus one year of free um, Turkish language course. So basically the first one is four years plus one year of Turkish language course. So basically you go there first and start learning Turkish for one year, okay, which is going to be paid. They're going to pay for it, okay? And you know one, so something about Turkish? Turkish is easy. To be honest, it's not hard. Like, it's, it's not hard. It's something that you can do. So I had I have friends that uh, did it and they scaled through. And I believe you can you can also. Okay. So um the first one is four years plus one year Turkish course. Then master's is two years plus one year Turkish course. PhD is four years plus one year Turkish course. Now, um winners of this uh, generous scholarships will, will get the following uploading benefit to the degree completion. Before I go into this, I want to state here that the reason why they want you to enroll in language courses, you know, they want to promote their language. You know, a lot of these countries that didn't colonize, we're not able to colonize any country in Africa or, you know, they are, they are really pushing hard to kind of promote their language and their culture, you know, to inculcate it in other countries so that the languages and their culture should be well spoken. I know something about Turkish that to be honest, Turkish people are friendly. They are really friendly, to be honest. And they enjoy it when they see a foreigner uh, speaking Turkish, you know. Um, to be honest, if you really want to move to abroad, like you want to move abroad to study, I really advise you to go to Turkey. All right, I advise you, okay? Now, um, let's come to the benefits, which I've already um, highlighted it before, but I just let me just quickly run through them. So selected uh, recipients, will get golden chance to complete the higher education degrees in English under this scholarship. Tuition free education throughout the degree program is available for, win for the winners. You don't have to pay any tuition. Health and medical insurances are privileges that will cover under this scholarship, under this program. Public health insurance will handle the health and medical expenses of, of a candidate. Moreover, winners will get accommodation facilities at the university dorms or hostels. Um, in the same way, uh, one year free Turkish language course is another gift by Turkish government uh, sponsored uh, sponsorship programs. You know, as I already told you, they want to promote this, so they are really pushing hard to make it. You know, to they are really pushing hard to make it possible. You know, um, scholarships uh, scholarship rewards will also be granted to the winners. However, the amount is different for each program. Okay, so for bachelor's degree programs, you're gonna get about one. You're gonna get one thousand Turkish lira per month. Then for master's degree, you're going to get one thousand four hundred Turkish liras per month. Then for for PhD degree, you're going to get one thousand eight hundred Turkish liras per month. Now, include in uh, in addition, you you're gonna get air travel tickets. Okay, one for departure and one for arrival. That means. When you're going to Turkey, they're going to buy your flight ticket. When you're going back to your country after your program, they're still going to buy your flight ticket. Okay, so it's not a problem. Now, funds for research projects and thesis. So if you're doing PhD or master's and you're required to do, uh, of course, you, you need to do thesis. 
uh, project. You know, they are going to fund it if you need if you need if you need money for that. Now, scholarship winners scholarship winners will also participate in social and cultural activities. Now, who can apply? Students of all nationalities can apply for the fully funded offered uh, scholarships offered by the Honorable Government of Turkey, except for Turkish citizens. So if you're from any country in the world, except for Turkish citizens, you can apply, all right? If you're not a Turkish citizen, you can apply. On the other hand, who have uh, those who have lost their Turkish citizenship can also apply for these scholarships. So if you were a Turkish citizen before, and you lost it. Maybe you got another citizenship in Europe for, or America. Or you can still apply. You know, according to this, those who have lost their Turkish citizenship can also apply, which is which is nice. So, as I said earlier, you don't need IELTS. It is not mandatory. However, instead, individual can submit their TOEFL scores or provide English language certificates to show they are capable enough to take any course at the Turkish University in English. Okay, so um, if you don't have uh, IELTS, you can submit TOEFL. If you don't have TOEFL, you can provide English language certificate. What is English language certif certificate? It could be a letter from your previous institution showing that English was the medium of instruction, you know. But if you have the cash, all right, I would advise you to take um, to take TOEFL or IELTS. Okay, but if you don't have the cash, then you can still get a letter from your school and apply. Like. I benefited from one of the scholarships before, the second one, and I didn't I, I didn't take any IELTS or TOEFL. I just applied, right? So um important. Now the eligibility requirement before applying for the merit um, based uh Turkish scholarship, check out the eligibility criteria to avoid any inconvenience in the end. Okay. Now the minimum academic requirement of Turkish scholarships for bachelor's degree is 70%. So you should have like your academic performance in your in your high school should be about 70%. You should be a good student if you want to get this scholarship. Okay, so if you have a good result, I would encourage you to really apply. Okay, and if you want to apply, and also then for master's and PhD, um, it is 75%. You should have like 75% in your performance. Okay, in your performance, very important. Let's say if you apply for uh, master's and PhD scholarship, your 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 grade, okay, for your bachelor's or your master's should be like seventy five percent, okay. However, now, um, okay, I'm gonna say it later. However, for medicine, dentistry, and pharmacy, it is ninety percent. If you want to get this this scholarship for medicine, dentistry, and pharmacy, you should have up to ninety percent of, you know, um, of academic performance. In, for, in your previous degree. Now, um, if you really want to prove this, like you want to show them, um, you can do that by getting a letter from your school as well, maybe your school principal or your favorite teacher, you know, to write a letter or from your registrar, to write a letter that you are among the, or your performance is about 70%, you know. Um, I believe that they will judge this one, you know, they will judge it. So, Apart from the, you know, because the reason why I'm saying that is because some of your transcripts might not show that you have 70% or 75% or 90%, you know, but if it is written boldly in a letter and signed, I believe that it can boost your chance because quickly they can just say that, oh, this person is 70% without trying to, you know, second guess. You get it. Now, the age limit is 21 years for bachelor's degree, okay, and 30 years for MSc, that is master's, and 35 years for doctoral degree. So you have to take uh, into consideration these factors, very important. Now, graduates who are about to complete their education and graduate and graduate before August 2022 can apply. So if you're in your final year now and you're about to complete, okay, if you were in your final year actually, because um, I didn't um, make this video earlier, okay, um, so basically, by now, you should have graduated by now. Okay, you should have graduated by now in order to stand a chance to be selected or to apply for this scholarship. Okay, so you should have graduated in August or before August. You should have graduated before August 2022 in order to apply. Now, a student doing a master's degree at a Turkish university cannot apply for MSc scholarship. However, 
that individual can apply for PhD scholarships. Applicants, all academic certificates and transcript must meet the benchmark of scholarship criteria. The interested applicant must not have any health problems. So you can prove this by going to a physician and do medical checkup, all right? So that um, they, they will be able to know that you, you don't have any medical issues. These are some of the things that can help you to get this scholarship, okay? These are some of the things that can help you to get this scholarship. To get this scholarship is so important that you follow um, these things, you know, in order to get this scholarship, okay? Now, um, however, for the short uh, scholarship program, an additional application is required, okay? The applicant must have cleared international exams like ACT, SAT, or IB to become eligible for these scholarships. Now, this is for uh, if you are applying for the short scholarship program. That is when you need an additional application. Okay, then the TOEFL or any uh, other language test except for IELTS need, is needed to check language proficiency of those applicants who want to take course in English. So, um, but from my own experience, right, I think you can still apply without this. Um, so you just need to um, prove maybe through a letter from your school that English was your, um, you know, was, was your was your degree. I mean, yeah, like the medium of instruction of your degree was English, okay? Because I studied in Turkey. I lived there for about five years and I've been um, an agent to Turkish universities. I've gotten school, several schools for clients, for people in Turkey and never for once. I don't think any of them have ever... Uh, 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 sent me the IELTS or TOEFL, and I've I've gotten admission for them. So you get it. So I believe that you can you can get it without these things. But I would encourage you to take them if you have the time, and if you have the money. But for now, you don't have time because there's except if you have time to take them. Okay, but I think we don't have time now to do them. Now, what is the application process? Now, the application process is off is online. I mean, and quite easy. So you need to visit the site of the Turkey Postulari Scholarships. Now, this is the website. Um, okay, I'll, okay, this is the website. So the website is tbbs.turkiyepostulari.gov.tr. Okay, I'm gonna put the link in the description. What you need to do, okay, is uh, you need to come here and register, okay? You, you need to come here and click register, okay? Once you register, you um you create a password and so on, then you can apply. Okay, I'm going to come back to this later. Uh, let me let me uh, continue the, the application stuff. So you have to fill out the required fields with the correct information and up, and upload the required documents, including your participation in the extracurricular activities. Do not forget to visit your university and program preferences. Then write an original letter of intent, um, explaining your goals, choices, expectations. Lastly. Review your applications and, and documents thoroughly and apply before the due date. Remember that the deadline is 20th of February, 2022. Okay, so you need to apply on time. Okay, now the list of documents that are needed. You need your national identification number, I mean document, or valid passport, a recent photo sized um, a recent photo passport size, national exam scores, okay, like Nigerians, um, like your NACO, WAEC, you know, uh, diploma or temporary graduation certificate, statement of purpose, okay. Um, this is very important. What is your statement of purpose? What is your mission? Why are you applying to this scholarship? What is your mission? What are you, like, you know what I mean? So what is your mission? Uh, how is it going to help you? You know, so you need to kind of um, write a let a, something like a letter, but you know, then academic transcript. Okay, what are, you need to get your transcript, then motivational letter. Now, what is motivating you to apply? You know, what is what is your motivation for applying to this scholarship? Now, you see, there's a difference between statement of purpose and motivation letter. This one is stating that what is your purpose. For applying and this one what is your motivation for applying so there are two different things all right um by the way I, i've done i've made content on motivational letter 
So you can check out here. Uh, I think uh, just check my channel after watching this video. You can see it for yourself and uh, learn how to do your so This is the video here. Okay. So very important. Then uh, international exams course like GRE, that is if you have, okay, if you have, in my opinion, then language test results scores if required, then research proposal if you are applying for master's or PhD, okay, then let, letter of intent. So um, letter of intent is kind of like, uh, what is your intention? Okay, what is your intention for applying for this scholarship? You know, so try to understand um, all these things and so that you will know what it is about. Okay, by the way, I'm going to put the link in the description about uh, these things, how to, um, you know, tips to help you. For example, um, statement of purpose, here's a tip to help you to do it. Okay, then also uh, about motivational letter, I'm also going to put the link in the description. Then also, um, even research proposal, letter of intent, I'm going to put all the links in the description so that you just need to go there and click and it will take you to that place and you would know how to do them. Okay. Then um, application deadline is 20th of February, as I've already stated. So you need to come here. This is the application page. After you've, uh, you, cl you click register, when you click register, then um, before I do that, there's something I should have shown you, okay? Now look here, the application process takes about 30 to 60 minutes. It means that when you are on the application page, all right, you need to be fast. Okay, you need to you need to do it between 30 and 60 minutes. Once it gets up to 60 minutes, it will it will log you out. Okay, it will log you out. So you need to be fast. All right. So it's very important that you have all your documents first before you start ap applying, so that you do everything within. For me, target to do everything within 40 minutes, so that um, you know to avoid you losing everything. Let's say for example, if you start writing your statement of purpose inside the scholarship um, um, application page, right? You're writing it, you're writing it, and, you, and, it's, and you've written a lot already, and it's more than, once it gets to 60 minutes, you lose everything now. Then, and you can't, and you can't retrieve them anymore. Okay, so that is why you need to be, uh, you need to be, uh, you need to take caution, okay? So signing up is, uh, is free of charge and takes up to like approximately two minutes, all right? So that is how you can do that. So uh, you just need to come here and click register if you're new. If you click register, then it's going to take you to where you can enter your name, middle name, surname, uh, gender, date of birth. Follow, make sure you follow the format and that they want. Then um, nationality or citizenship, email address, email address again, password, password. Secret question like what what is my favorite dog or what is the name of my dog? Then you you can say what is the name of my dog. Then you, here you can just write bingo. You know something like that. You know, and after you've done everything, you click that you're not a robot. Then you approve. Then you save, and that will be it. Okay, so um, guys, that will be it about uh, this uh, scholarship. Um, when I say description, let me show what it means. So let's say we have, uh, uh, this is the video you're watching now, okay? Then you just need to come here, come below this video, all right? This place that I wrote these things, I wrote things about, and this place I put, you see, for example, this scholarship now, for example, this scholarship now, this is the link to this scholarship. This one, by the way, you can also see this after, fully funded scholarship at this university in Finland. You can also see it. So this is the way you can just click on those things that I told you about. Okay. All right, guys. Um, uh, that would be it about this video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And uh, if uh, you liked this video and you enjoyed it, please click the, um, uh, the like button to support my channel. Okay. All right. Um, I just, before I go, I, I want to categorically state that I am not an immigration expert or an immigration lawyer. Okay. I am making this content to simply help you expose you to information abroad. Even the things that I've experienced abroad as somebody who is experienced already. And so that you, you would able, you'd be able to take action. 
This does not, however, uh, uh, stop you from making research, further research to verify some of the informations I've stated here. The informations I've talked about here are my opinion, okay? And the information that I hear that I'm sharing with you, all right? So thank you so much for understanding and um, I will see you in my next video.